Ah, that sound. You know what that means. Grab your sunscreen, your favorite beverage, and let's cut some grass. Hello again, everybody. Corey here with Xbox Tavern. Today, taking a look at Lawn Mowing Simulator, a game that I put way more time than I thought I would have when I picked it up. So, to start, we're cutting virtual lawns. There's no surprises here. Um, you kind of know what you're getting into when you pick the game up. And so, let's just break down what you can do in the game. Start off at the main menu. You can only, you can pick from three different modes. You have career mode, which is the main mode that you'll be playing in. You have challenges, where you have to do some kind of task with some kind of modifier. And free mode. Now, free mode basically lets you pick any of the different locations and any of the mowers that you have unlocked in career mode. So that, again, is where you're going to be spending most of your time and where I'll be focusing on this review. So when you start out in career mode... The whole gist of the game is that you have your own lawn business and you are starting uh, out pretty good, to be honest. But you're starting at the bottom with just yourself and two, one of two mowers that you get to pick from. Once you have your mower picked out, you start off on your very first contract. Now, a contract is a job and the contracts come in three different flavors, mostly they're just general cuts. You go in and you cut the grass and you have to cut typically 99.5% of the grass. So as you are cutting, uh, there is a percentage bar at the top uh, of the screen. So you always know how much is left uh, and kind of see how you're on pace to see how long it's going to take you. Now, before you can even mow though, you do have some more options. Now this is a simulator, so it gets pretty into it. As soon as you arrive at the job site, you have the option of completing a grounds check. That means running around the grounds and picking up any loose objects that you wouldn't want to mow over. Now, if you happen to skip this check, those things go away, so they can't like damage your machines. But they are there and they allow you to get a little bit of extra money uh, when it comes time to turn the contract in. There are some hidden collectibles, typically one per map that will give you a lot of money. They're called valuables, so you find them and you turn them in. Uh, and again, that will pay out at the end of the contract. One other thing you can do before you actually hop on your mower, though, is do a little bit of maintenance on your, uh, your lawnmower. You can do this uh, without the first person view from the menu before you start the contract. But once you're in here, you're able to fill the gas if it needs to be filled or change the blades. But once you've done that and you're ready, you can hop on the mower, turn the engine on, pump up the throttle and get going. All right, so back to the actual mowing. Uh, this is all up to you and how your preferences are when it comes to mowing grass. And you can start with the edges. You can just start by going right up the middle. Uh, it's all up to you. What you need to pay attention, though, is how your lawnmower is reacting to the grass. There is kind of, there's some different conditions that you have to watch out for. Sometimes the grass is overgrown. So you have to go really slow in order to cut the grass at the required height. And all of these contracts have required cut heights that you need to pay attention to when you start. Now, if you happen to be cutting at the wrong height, the game will tell you, fortunately, so you can adjust that. But if the grass is way too tall, you will have to go slower so you don't cause a lot of engine troubles. Uh, you can opt to cut at a higher height and make a couple passes, but the most efficient way that I found is just to go a little bit slower uh, or maybe not cut as much grass uh, widthwise in that pass. Now there's plenty of mowers to pick from. Uh, as you play the game and get more money, you're able to grab those mowers so they might have a little bit more horsepower, bigger deck sizes, uh, and different attachments. And that's kind of the gist of mowing. Once you hit your 99.5%, you'll be prompted to return to your trailer, back that lawnmower up, and leave the job. And that's just the general cut. 
There are two other types of contracts out there that you'll come across later in the game. One's a litter, uh, litter contract. So basically that ground check that I talk about where you run around and pick up things. This is that, but you just have to do more. Uh, mostly it's like 12 or 15 items generally, maybe 17. Uh, and you're just running around picking up trash. And once you're done, you leave. That's, that's that job. Um, if you're actually like trying to get a lot of money, uh, well, I'll mention it in a minute, but you can have employees. You send them out at the same time you go out. The litter contracts are actually the quickest way to uh, get in and get out so uh, you can complete your day. Uh, although they don't pay uh, as much as the cutting ones that take a lot longer, obviously. The third and final type of cut you'll be coming across is a striping job. So that is where you want to cut the grass as normal, but certain mowers have what is called a roller attachment and that allows you to go in a certain direction that the game will uh, aid you in and you know the grass is uh, rolled over to kind of point in a certain direction it gives it that little bit of a design look and so those kind of contracts are fewer and far between but they are worth it uh, when you can do them and that brings me to the actual company that you're running. So this is a simulator. So besides just cutting the grass, you are maintaining a company. So you can hire individuals and train them up in your company. So you can take on more contracts each and every day. Now, as of right now, you are limited to two employees. And in order to for those employees to do contracts, they have to have lawnmowers for themselves. So you will have to buy those as well. And you can never start a day unless you yourself are doing a contract. So at a maximum, you can do three with your two employees, but they do have to have lawnmowers. That also reminds me that there are different headquarters that you can purchase and or upgrade. It's important and necessary to pay attention to those as well, because those actually allow you to have more space to buy more lawnmowers. I believe the very first starting out, uh, headquarters you have is one bay so you can only have your one lawnmower uh, you come across quick pretty quickly to upgrade it to include an additional bay and eventually get your employee another employee so you can start going two at a time at that point and then again you can get up to two uh, with that uh, eventually you can actually have a lot more mowers than you can employees that will just allow you to have a little bit of options when it comes to picking the mower uh, for the job uh, and again, some of those contracts require certain lawnmowers with certain attachments. Uh, and then others, they just act differently. So you're going to want to look at the conditions and pick the one that, again, is right for the job. Sometimes it's really overgrown grass. Uh, I even ran across just one time in my 30 or so different uh, jobs I've done so far. Actually, I think it's close to 50 cuts. Um, only one time as it happened, but it rained. And obviously that had an impact on uh, the job as well. And that's kind of it. Like I said at the top, it's you kind of get what you pay for. Uh, there's not a lot of surprises. You're in this to kind of do that relaxing gameplay of cutting grass. And they deliver on that front. Um, just a couple of quality, quality of life improvements I would like to see are things like the first person um, movement when you're outside of your tractor. It's very janky in terms of uh, how that controls but fortunately that's not the gist of the game the gist of the game is cutting the grass and that part i think they do well uh again just some little things that i think they will update like if a branch kind of comes into your view when you're mowing uh, from like a third person perspective it will kind of block your view i think that they can fix that just little things like that that um yeah i think will come over time and so, yeah, that is Lawn Mowing Simulator. Now, one last thing I want to tell you about before I go is that it is a Series exclusive. So you do have to have a Series S or a Series X to play it. Uh, just want you to know that before you go out and buy it. And, uh, yeah, I think if you kind of know what you're getting into, if you have any least bit of interest in this, uh, it's probably going to satisfy you for a while. And so, yeah. Well, that will do it for me in this review. Go to xboxtavern.com and you can see my scores for the game once those are up, as well as our other fabulous reviews that we put out pretty much daily. Um, you can go and check out. So 
Thank you for listening to this, and I will catch you in the next one.